Okay, listen up, homeowners. Whether you're thinking about selling your house now or maybe in the future, there are three big mistakes even smart people make. Here with those tips is author Ellen Rankin. Alan, thanks so much for joining us. Now, we're talking not only about selling, but also buying, right? Yes, correct. Uh, you wrote a book about this. How many mistakes are there? There's probably a dozen, right? Plus. Yeah, there's several. But you narrowed it down for us. Yes. And tell me about your book. Okay, so uh, in 2016, over 6.1 million homes exchanged hands in the United States. Okay. And right now, you have a fantastic opportunity to buy Goldie Hawn's home. 50 cents home or even Frank Sinatra's old home in the yeah. jewel of Coachella Valley. That sounds great. Yeah, but did you know despite the fact that real estate is literally the best investment anyone could ever make in their lifetime, it's actually even better than 100% pure gold that only 68% of all Americans actually own real estate. Really? So to put that into perspective, Spain actually has the highest rate of home ownership mm -hmm. with over 85% of their population owning real estate. Mm. So there's incredible opportunity for millions of Americans to get into the marketplace and own a great investment that builds great wealth over their lifetime. Okay, but there's a lot of mistakes that people make. So you've yes. narrowed it down to three for us this morning, right? Yeah, so the first big mistake is uh, not understanding all the transaction costs. So there's costs associated with buying okay. and costs associated with selling. And you want to have a good understanding well in advance as to what all those costs are so that you can be fully prepared to handle them when the time comes. Yes, that's a good idea. Okay, yeah. mistake number two. Mistake number two is not having a realistic understanding in advance as to what the value of the property would be. Okay. So when a home uh, goes on the market, nobody has a crystal ball to really determine the exact sold price. However, there are strategies available for you to conclude within a very reasonable range as to what you should expect to sell okay. that property Okay, so let's for. say I have my home, uh, I bought it five years ago, it was valued at this, but it could have gone up, right, because of homes around me? Correct. Or uh, maybe I do have a home and I've upgraded it, and I think it's worth a lot more than what it potentially is. Correct, yes. Okay, so you be, be aware of that before you put it on the market, because yes. it may be there for a while, right? Exactly. Okay, and tell me about the last uh, mistake. So the last mistake is not using a licensed professional. So your real estate specialist is there to advise, recommend, protect, negotiate on your behalf so your okay. interests are fully protected mm -hmm. and everything from start to finish is as easy and as smooth as possible. Okay. Okay. Why is it so important to, to get a professional involved? You know, I'm thinking I've lived here for a while. I know my neighbors. I know how much the, the guy next door sold his house for. I can do it. They just bring an incredible type of value to the whole process from start to finish. It doesn't exist when they're okay. not helping you. Okay, and you were talking about costs at the beginning. Are there costs when you're selling your home? Because we've all heard about the closing costs when you're buying. Yes. But what about when you're selling a home? When you're selling, there's commissions, there's mortgage payouts, there's you know, there could be costs associated with canceling your mortgage sooner with your lender. Okay. You want to really have a thorough understanding as to what all those costs are okay. uh, to make sure that, um, you know, you're not subject to any costly surprises. Yeah, so. it, you just be aware. And that's yeah. where you say the professional is going to really help out, right? Exactly. Okay, so yeah. your book has the 10 mistakes. We narrowed it down to three this yes. morning. Yeah. Um, so where can people find your book? Uh, it's on Amazon, and you can also get it on AlanRankin.com. Okay. And uh, so, but the best way to buy or sell a home in 2017 is H, hire a professional. O, organize your finances. It's literally the foundation to uh, your success in real estate. Alan, where in the heck did you get that big calculator from? <laughs> <laughs> My hometown. <laughs> um, uh, and make sure the home is ready for sale. So okay. you don't just wake up and uh, list your house for sale on the market. You want to turn it into a showpiece. Yeah. Uh, so it appeals to buyers' emotions, and so it'll sell faster and for more money. Good and idea. E, just enjoy the process. Yeah, and good luck. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, again, give me your website real fast so people can find you. It's alanrankin.com. Alanrankin.com. Thank yes. you so much for joining us. Great tips, great advice. If you want a recap of this interview, go ahead and head on over to our website, krq.com. Again, the 10 dumbest mistakes even smart people make when they're selling their home. Great tips for any of you uh, thinking about selling or possibly buying a home in the near future. We'll be right back with.